Now to the case that the whole country is talking about. While the toxicology report for Rudy Eugene has not been released yet, this week there has been a lot of talk about what type of drug might cause a man to engage in a cannibalistic attack. Health reporter Diana Gonzalez is here to clear up confusion about bath salts. Diana? First of all, we are not talking about Epsom salts you put in the tub. This is a synthetic designer drug sold in head shops and convenience stores until it was banned in Florida last year, but it's readily available online. Vanilla Sky, Ivory Wave, so-called bath salts sold online. A little packet of small white crystals costs about $30 for a fraction of an ounce. The name bath salts is a name that the street chemists are giving it to skirt the law, to fly below the radar of law enforcement. Even though it states not for human consumption on the websites and packages, people are swallowing but mostly snorting these bath salts, says psychiatrist Dr. Daniel Bober. These are substances that are known to be stimulants. They can cause psychosis, agitation, paranoia. They basically turn, can turn a person into a wild beast. They shut off the part of the brain that, that causes rational control over your decisions. When these cases do show up in local emergency rooms, there's no way to detect the chemicals in bath salts through traditional blood and urine tests. Sometimes the patients will say what they've used. I have treated them in the emergency department and I have seen this type of behavior, uh, this extreme paranoia 